Just tell us a little bit about sort of work that the um, you do with the Manx Wildlife Trust, anyway. The, the trust has been going now for forty years, and we're our primary function is the protection and conservation of wildlife on the island. Uh, to that end, what we do is we we own a number of nature reserves. We've got twenty two now. Um, we also carry out education projects with schools and other groups. Um, we have a very active marine group uh, and we're very heavily involved with things like cetacean and basking shark work. The Manx Basking Shark Watch is actually a, a project of the Trust um, and a whole range of other things. We have, we have a lot of people who are passionate about wildlife on the island and obviously it's a very green island so mm -hmm. You know, people want to get involved, um, and we've been very lucky in that we've had a, a lot of support over many, many years yeah. now. How important do you think an appreciation sort of the Manx, you know, environment or the Manx wildlife is important to a sense of identity in the island? Do you know? I think it's absolutely central. Um, there is this sort of innate feeling that the the rolling hills, the greenness, the, the mixture of walls, but also the the currucks, the the wet woodlands that whole mosaic is part of the fabric of the island which people recognize and identify with and of course the wild flowers you know we, we you know the national flower is is a wild one so you know we, we we have that link which people identify with and because it's a relatively small island area the proximity and the interaction that people have with the sea means that people are much more aware of what is going on in the marine life which you wouldn't have in many other areas. Yeah. Do you think people are aware of that important link between sort of culture, identity and the environment? I think so, not all the time. Um, I think the, you know, the, the, the aspirations that people have nowadays are obviously very centred around you know, jobs and lifestyle and things like that. But underneath that there is this sort of innate calling if you can if I can give it that name that people have that feel and it's incredible how quickly people do react if they see the Manx countryside under threat very quick to support it and to see it being protected because it's part of that national identity oh well good luck with all your work and thank good you. Alive. thank you good stuff. <laughs>